is us? I think so. Let's pull in. Let's see if anybody shoots us. We'll know. Baby. We just made it here. Uh, so we got an Airbnb on the river. Can you believe that? We're on the water, man. We can fish from right here. There's people out there. We got kayaks right here in the backyard. We have yaks. We're set up. Oh, this is nice. So it, it literally has gone about a 15, 20 degree temperature difference from where we were in uh, Wisconsin earlier today. So feels good. Cool breeze coming off the water. It's gonna be a good, good week. I'm ready to do a little this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. You know what I'm saying? Go look at your knife factor. Yes. What's up, brother? What's going on? How you doing, man? Good seeing you. Good seeing you too. I like the hat. You like that? I like that. I think we might sell a few billion of these. Yeah, you might do it. Are you ready to catch some fish for your birthday? Oh my gosh. You know, it's it's, it's Rackley's anniversary. Yes. Okay, folks, this is uh, round two, Matt's birthday. Hopefully these smallmouth are doing just something like they were last year, moving up in hordes. So we will find them regardless. I am confident that. Well, we are in the UP. You have to go somewhere else to start just to get here. You can't get here from anywhere. It is difficult, but Badenoch, Little Badenoch, and Big Badenoch have traditionally been incredible smallmouth fishers. Fatty! <laughs> Look at that! This evening has been incredible to have been out there, but tomorrow we've got a lot of wind. We threw out the idea. What if we went to Superior? There's no wind up there tomorrow. Have you ever heard of anybody taking a small boat on Superior? You don't got a small boat. This is not a small I'm boat. Just, I'm just saying. Like, I've what never even. No wind? Like, I will go. I have not, this true story. I've never even heard of anyone catching a smallmouth on Lake Superior. They've got to be there, but I've never heard of it. Have you? Honestly. You've caught largemouth out of there. You have? You have, right? On Lake Superior? Yeah. You've told me this. That was Lake, that was, that was last summer we went there and caught largemouth. <laughs> yeah. But we never caught smallmouth on Superior. They were in the reeds. Killed them in the reeds there. But I've never, I mean, no one goes out there and fishes it because it's always rough. Well, we also have the river, which is an option here. That's a whole different fishery that we haven't explored. We got a local told us. If you get skunked here, you're a lousy fisherman. So we have, we have safety <laughs> in the river. Uh, but that's walleye. No, he said no. there was bass in there. No. Yeah. Well, there's bass in there, but are we, I mean, we know there's bass all over these bays. We're going to catch bass. That's not going to be a problem. Okay. I like the spirit. Okay. No, we're catching bass. All right. I got a fever. You know, the only solution is more small bell. I think the water's gonna be 58. That's my guess. Where? In the bay or yeah, in the lake? In the bay. 58. 58 is what I'm saying. I'm gonna say 60. What is a small amount spot? 60 or like a little, a little less? <laughs> Dude, I've seen them start spawning at 50 degrees, so whenever that moon hits, they're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for them.
What do you see this? Huh? See all them white caps? Oh man. Yeah, this looks like this is gonna be real fun. They're getting even bigger oh, over there. Dude, this ain't good. It's only gonna get worse. It's just starting. Hang on. Let's have a plan. There is white caps in this little tiny bay. What are we? I, we can't go to the juice right now. Oh, we're going to the juice. <laughs> You're not keeping this man from his bass. Okay. Look I guess here. we're about to get wet. How much water is pulling out of here? Can you see that? Yeah. Like, can you see the current coming across? Yeah. 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 We Suck see it all. That way. We wait, see it. wait, 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 wait. We see it all. Are you sure, dude? Well, we have made it here. It was a little wet. Thank goodness Jeremy was driving. He's such an experienced big wave, uh, big wave boater. But we just got to our spot. This is where we fished last year and it was incredible. We literally saw hundreds of fish coming in to make beds and we're almost on the exact same uh, calendar. Just moon phase is a little different, but you can see the bottom. A little sand. Do you see a fish already? There's these little reed stick ups. And our water is uh, 62.7. So it's actually warmer than I was thinking. I'm just hoping they're in pre spawn or spawn. So last year when we were in here, I don't really think the reeds were quite this far along, but. We did notice that it was always reeds mixed with rock, not just this sand. And sure enough, as soon as we started seeing a little bit of rock, we got right back into a few beds, but we're not seeing any fish on them yet. And that could be still just a little early in the morning. It got a little cooler last night. I remember that last year, they were coming much stronger in the afternoons. Absolutely. It just kept, like throughout the day, it just kept getting like better. Like you saw and more and more and fish up shallow in the afternoons as it got, got warmer every day and uh, we timed it so perfectly last year we, we watched fish come in day one cruising and then start to get locked and then it's just full blown every little dark spot you see has a fish on it so it's a magical time but they spawn pretty quick so if you see them and you know you're fishing smallmouth there's more coming you see one it's like a swarm of bees I need the swarm. I need to get stung by a bunch of big brown smallmouth that are angry. Oh, that a boy, birthday boy! <laughs> Coming in first, first one. It is a certified smallmouth small bass. Mouth. Look at him. He's just a little guy. But you know what? You gotta warm up on something here. Wow, wow, this is different. This is different than the old yeah. largies. Hey, look, look, the greenhouse is over there. Okay. Right where we need to be. Yeah. Good job. Look at him. Yes, sir. Did you look at him? <laughs> just look at him. You ate my freak. Where'd my. They always throw your drop shot weights Wait. off. Oh, you still got it. There it is. The old murky minnow got her done. We, yeah. we were scavenging the boat to try to find these last year. We ran out, so hopefully uh, hopefully we brought enough this year. First smallmouth of 2021. See that? Look at that. Look just, darted off that just darted off Little bitty football. He's going to be a big football one day. All right, little guy. Go back to your home. What a birthday gift. Who right there? Where out on that bed? And there's a bed right there too. You see that? Oh, I, oh, I see it. I'm not sorry. It's over there. Yeah, slightly to the right. Yeah. Of it. What bed were you on? He got him. Oh wow. Oh, that was pretty. 
<laughs> yeah! We're back! This one's not as big, but they are on that drop shot on the beds, baby. And it's so funny because well, there's a little little green house that we remember seeing last year. And as soon as we drifted over and could see that house, we started catching fish. Same spawning ground. Biggest challenge is gonna be little one. He's got one. He's got one off of that bed. Oh man. He's got one. Off that bigger, bed. One. Yeah, we, bigger one. We were sitting there just talking about it. Oh, it's got to the grass. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, yeah baby. Look at this one. Dog. That's a good one. I love these fish. Dude, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I mean, I, nothing fights like that. Nobody's ever going to understand what a birthday like this feels like. Where are you, where are you going here? Just bring them up here. Oh. <laughs> He's not ready. Come on. They just don't quit. You got him? Look at that guy. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we're back. I didn't realize you just had one. We're back. I love this place. Thought it was easy. They are choking. Look at this. What's that? Look how much he Five, freaking four, wanted that one. Four. four. Feels so freaking good. Yes. This <laughs> feels so freaking yes, good. Man. <laughs> Day one, hour one. <laughs> okay, another good one. They are so fun to get. I think he came off that bed, dude. He did. Good fish. We've made contact. We've made contact. This is so similar to last year. I mean, we're, we're in the exact same area. We decided to come to the, the juice where we had magical time last year, and they're, they're doing the exact same thing, it seems, where they're just starting to come up and make their beds. Like Jeremy just pointed out, there was a little milky dust cloud from the bottom where this bed looked like it was and that's literally the male bass coming in fanning his tail and then making that cloud of dust on the bottom so just now happening and that means it should just continually get better every day and later in the day as the water warms up there he is let me tell you a little story about Jeremy Starks I was two feet to the right he was on the money Separation He's on the money a lot. Elites and Guggins. That is the separation. And that fish looks fresh. Oh yeah. Fat. Like he's fat, no marks. Just healthy. And that's like a 12 year old fish. Yeah. Believe it or not. Oh! Oh! See if he wants round two. Got him. Got him? Yep. Same bed? Yep. That was a good one, dude. Yeah, I'm going to be broken off. Is that a small dump? That's a good in there. Come on, baby. Get out of them reeds. That's a that's a certified grown. The mouths are so tiny. There we go. That is a good one right there. Now my friend uh, Matthew over here threw in there, and this fish hit it, broke him off, and then this fish was so angry he came back and he got my bait. And uh, 
Made a little adjustment there. Oh, Matt, here's your bait. <laughs> Made a little adjustment and went to the cover shot. Oh, you're, you seriously have his bait? Yes. He seriously has both of the baits. Can I, do you have pliers? Yeah. We have two dragon drops in this fish. He got hooked twice. He, he was that pissed off. All right, so one, two dragon drops. That fish just was angry. Had to have it. So, good. We got that little drag drop out of your throat, buddy. Go back in there. Get big. Back. Ooh, that's a good one. They just don't know when to quit. That was right on cue. Sure, said it looks like a bed. Pushed in there and he just swam I like it here. So the Texas shot. This is a your standard drop shot. You know, I've just got about a eight nine inch leader on here. And then instead of a um, just regular finesse style, wacky style hook on there, this is a straight shank with a, a little uh, plastic keeper on the nose. And the reason for using this hook, which is way, way bigger uh, than a normal finesse hook, is so that you can text pose it. So that's where the Texas shot name comes from. But in these reeds, it's really hard to bring that open hook through there. So if you have a tech-exposed worm like this, you don't have to worry about getting hung up near as much and you can throw a lot farther so you can get through those reeds. And uh, you know, on this boat right now, whoever can pitch the farthest is catching the fish, like Jeremy right now. This isn't fun at all, is it? No. Why would anybody want to do that? No, he thinks he is. He's just not. I mean, none of them are really little. Good fish. There's bad ball right here. They're everywhere. So your Texas shot, unlike your regular finesse hook, allows you to feed the hook all the way through the worm and then texpose it. So you just rig it through the nose, bring it, bring it through, turn, and then you want to hook that a little plastic keeper just right there. And then you take your hook point and you bury it into the worm, make it straight. So I got that drag and drop. This is a drag and drop. This is a little two lot uh, cover shot or Texas shot style hook. And that way, I can pitch this a long ways through a lot of reeds and not get hung up. So the first person that sees that bed out there, be able to fling it and not get hung up. Jeremy's usually the first one to it. He's got those eyeballs, he's got the height advantage. He's a sniper. He was angry with me. <laughs> Messed with his bed. He was on this bed. You think so? I, I, dude, he came all the way from back there. Think? Yeah, he was like on a wrecking mission. There's beds everywhere right here. Like, got one. We got That's the bed I thought it come on. Nice. Look at him. Oh yeah, you can't uh, really boat flip these guys, can you? <laughs> He's a little too big for that. <laughs> Look at that guy. They're getting bigger. Maybe not for you guys. I'm just getting warmed up. Man. Look at that. God, we're going to catch a billion of these things. 
doing swirlies, but you're not eating. Come here. Mm. Healthy one. Just needed a pause. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. Good size one. Here we go. Let me do the old belly land on this guy. Jeremy, rate, rate this landing. One to ten. There's no such thing as a small <laughs> That fish right there is probably 15 years old. They grow so slow up here with this cold water. That's a nice fish. See ya. I think that's number 12. Are we on a solid dozen? That was about seven. I think that was four or five for me. The scary part is, it's just beginning. It's just starting. Dragon dropping. You come up with that big boulder there? What? Come up with that big way up. No, he was way up. He was way out there. Oh. Number seven for me? How many are we up to now? Well, you gotta count? I think we're at like 22. Kind of changed uh, strategies here just in this new bay. And we're just, uh, we're not sight fishing really. We're just, well, we're throwing at patches of boulders where I think these fish are pre spawn. So they're probably about to spawn in a few days, but they're just sitting on little boulder patches. And then that, that drag and drop, throwing it on a, a drop shot, that seems to be the best technique. And that's pretty much anywhere you go for smallmouth, it's going to be the drop shot. But it's just a matter of looking at them or looking for some sort of cover that they like to be on, like these uh, boulder patches. But the thing I've seen with smallmouth over the years is it's usually a certain size rock that they like to get on. And break it down into like melon size, you know, you got pea gravel, you've got, um, you know, big chunk rocks. Just depends on what they're liking. What's living in there? Crawfish, perch. But it's always around some sort of rock. We got fishes. He's looking at it. Okay, we've got some fish that are just on the bank. Dude, that's a freaking hole. Oh my gosh, man. there's another one right here. Oh, he's, he's so fit. Oh, he's on it. Look at that. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Which one was it? You wasn't on the same no, bit. No, I don't want a different no, one. No, different one. There was one on that other reed. There you go. Dude, that's a good one. That might be the best one of the day so far. What do you think? That's oh, the wow. biggest that's, one of the day. That's a good one. That's a shot. Yeah, dude, that's four pounder. Wow. There we that's go. that's yeah. What's it got? 
That's a good amount. He's scarred up. Yeah, I barely had him hooked. He's still clean and pretty. Look at that fish. I mean, it's like he just got here. This fish has hit my bait like multiple times. And it's just so angry at why. Oh, oh, look at that. He got. Nope, nope, nope. He's, he's catching on, but he's still. We oh, got it. There we go. Mm -hmm. That is <laughs> incredible. This is why. You go smallmouth fishing right here. Large mouth just, oh my gosh, what did you spit out? My bait. No, no, no. Are you sure? That was like a big minnow. There it is, it's my bait. Oh, is it your murky minnow? Come here, dude. Stop. Oh, goodness. Your hook is not in his mouth. We are good. It must have been what he threw right there. What an angry fish. I'm talking snapped Jeremy off, throw back in there. It takes my bait, goes into the reeds, gets hung. I throw back in there. It's chasing it all around the bed. I mean, they are voracious, voracious protectors. See ya. Hercules. might be feeding on perch right here. You got it. It's like a bed back in there. I believe he's five. Wow. That's the biggest one of the day, by far. Yeah, that's for sure five pounder. Boy, that's a 20 year old hog. Still fat. Not a giant, but. I would say it's a giant. Yeah, that's a giant. That's a good giant for me. Back here, like on the bank. Look at it. Smash mm -hmm. it. Oh, look at this one right here. Oh, dude. Oh, what? I think he's jumping right by my feet. I mean, they're on the bank. Dirt. Oh, boy. There we go. I'm thinking it's kind of well good to do it. Yeah. This is insane. And that one came out four feet and grabbed it. Like I had, I was nowhere close to it. Yeah. These are pagans up there on the bank too. Does that get old? I don't think it does. I just don't think it does, y'all. As we predicted, as it's warming up, we're taking the layers off. These fish are getting more active. They not only like the sun, they, they like this warmth. Heating up the shallow water and we're seeing them on the bank. Oh, man. God, they tear up your drop shots. You better tangle them all up. back to the juice got to do it y'all got to do it the conditions are too good the wind has died the sun has come out we're actually pretty warm I'm sure the water temps are like 62 63 here's our reeds let's continue this pattern hopefully some bigs are moving up shallow did you see one it just everything looked right 
two C1. I haven't confirmed one yet. We are looking so No, there's one right here. Got him. Good one too. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, it's a toad. Got him. Come here. He's not a giant, but he's good. Oh my, look at that fish down there. That's a beautiful thing. This might be my biggest of the day. Really? That's a pretty good one. Gorgeous clear water. Solid upper three. We just came in here and look what we found. Good lord, no. Just a little butter bean. Oh, yeah. Just right in the jaws. Mm, thanks. I would have told you that fish was four pounds the way it was pulling when I first hooked it, but God, just another solid. It's so cool to see them. You don't really see the fish right at first. You're just looking for that dark spot because if you can see them, they can probably see you too. So that's the key. But when you start to creep up on them and you know they're going to eat it, it's such a cool moment. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, we dreamed about it. It's happening. Goodness gracious. That's how it's supposed to go. Ooh, Got one. Nice going. We can only get better. We can only get better. <laughs> we came to the juice at the right time. Woo! This is incredible how they just pour in here. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. That's a good one to end on there. Not really. What do you think? We have caught some toads over here, coming to the juice here at the end of the day. Definitely. I think it was the move. Yeah. That was a good call. I'm a little scared what if they're just coming in now. What's going to be happening in the next couple That's days? That's what I'm thinking. I mean, you can see that fish is just clean. He doesn't look like it. I mean, it's been here long. High force. Yeah, it's a good fish. But as soon as we got in here, man. I think that's a good one to end on. It's just so hard to end. It is. You don't want to quit. And we got, what, three more hours of daylight? Know, We're going to I blow? I know. We're, you got like five hours of daylight. Is it, what time is it? Do we need to eat? Do we really need to eat? Oh. So yesterday we went out on the water. We had to fight uh, some rain and some wind in, in some areas, but we did end up finding spawning fish and some uh, pre-spawn fish that were feeding up on points. Uh, but really, the bigger fish came off of these, these beds and uh, it's not necessarily see, seeing the fish, it's just looking for these dark spots and then the drop shot has just been key. 
Um, so we're gonna rig up our drop shots out here today and try to go back to our spawning grounds and uh, see if more fish have come in here and hopefully bigger fish, so bigger females are gonna start moving in and we get those you know, four or five pound smallies you just can't catch enough of. Hell yeah, right there, the ramp. Oh my. Well, there's two, it's two Let's, anchor there. Let's get some biscuits. Man, you leave your spot unattended for five minutes. Somebody gets right on. I can't believe one other boat that we've seen. There's gotta be fish in here. I really want to try this whole new area that we're right behind the restaurant. So I kind of drove. I've never fished that section. I've fished close to here in the summer, but never in the spring. So we'll see if we're in our bed. We do a little change up. Try it. There's a ramp right here. Yeah, we're we've always got the juice. Yeah, we can always go here. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's do a little restaurant flight. Restaurant, then uh, yeah. the new juice. We're just rolling down the street here from where we ate breakfast and we see reeds and calm water. Anywhere we've seen reeds so far has been a great indicator that there's probably some spawning smallmouth bass nearby and I think it's worth just checking. There's a boat ramp right here. We're just going to dump in. We're going to check water temperatures, see if uh, they're still in that spawning temperature and then we definitely have the cover and we have sunlight where we can see right now so we'll be able to find out if there's any bass in this area really quick and then if not we're going back to the juice I don't know about this I don't know about this ramp situation I think we're going to end up hurting the boat and ourselves. This isn't really a ramp ramp. You can't just like beach your boat on uh, the Great Lakes. It's breakage problems. So, uh, you might have to go to the juice, man. I'm fine going straight to the I think, I think the spawn's over here. Let me, let me taste the water. I think it's over. I think you're right. Too warm, too many particulates. It's time to go to the juice. It's colder there. Normally we'd have to wear our jackets around the, the lake. Uh, this is like warm water coming off of a smaller bay. The other bay is much bigger and there's colder water in it so the spawn's going to be going on longer over there. So we go. cooler it is. It's 10 degrees from just moving from one bay over to here, but you've got so much of the lake blowing into this area with a south wind, and it just keeps it so much cooler. I mean, you can even look at the shoreline and see how the trees aren't as developed. Some of the leaves are still small, so big change just moving 10 or 15 miles. See that a greenhorn there? Yes. You are already one behind.
one behind. Confirmed, Andy. 